Hello people the web and YouTube DPK here and welcome back to another hack time tutorial video. Whoa. So okay everyone, today I'm gonna be teaching you how to customize the terminal within Kali Linux. Now to do this, it's actually fairly simple to do. Just note if you end up messing it up, you may actually break your terminal file entirely, which means you might actually end up breaking the terminal itself. So be careful when doing this. But yeah, with that all said and done, how about we get to this? First of all, to actually find the file that we want to edit in order to add in a banner on our terminal we first got to type in locate bash rc and after we do that it should be the first one on the link here and to edit this file all you really got to do is type in leaf pad and then paste that link there and it should just open up automatically but if you don't want to do it that way you can also find the file here underneath other locations, computer, etc. And if you were to just type in bash rc in, it should be just the first one to pop up here in the list and you can open it up the same way. And quite frankly, I like editing the file via the, the GUI because then you can at least copy the file fairly easily to somewhere else. That way you have a backup in case things go wrong. But yeah, with that all said and done, how about we actually edit our terminal just to show you that this works. Now, as you can see, um, I've already added the words DTP, DTPK's terminal here at the very bottom. And to add other stuff to the tutor, to the, to the terminal, not tutorial, god, I don't know what I'm saying. But to add other stuff, all you really gotta do is type in echo. This is a test. Just to show you that this works, I'm just gonna type in this is a test. And you're pretty much good to go. And just note, you don't need to edit anything here in this file itself if you have any text here already. All you really have to do is just go to the bottom of that, hit enter a few times, and then just type in whatever you want down here pretty much. Now, now that I got that in there, how about we save our file and then open up a new terminal just to show you that this works. And as you can see, it will say this is a test DTPK's terminal. Now. That's pretty much it for adding a text banner to the, the terminal itself, although there is a ton of other things we can do here. We can actually uh, color the banner individually itself, although that's a little bit more complex and I may save that for a future video. But yeah, other than that guys, how else do you customize the terminal? The easiest way to customize the terminal after all that is just go into one of the terminals itself, hit edit, preferences profiles and hit new and from here you can color the terminal and change the font however you wish now in my case I'm gonna call this blue considering I already have a profile for red gray and white I believe so I think blue is the only color I haven't actually customized yet so yeah you want to enter in a profile name I'm gonna call mine blue now I'm gonna go under the colors tab and change the text color to well blue and hit select now as you can see not a whole lot has happened because we have to actually first hit close and then reopen a terminal but with that preference now if i were to open a terminal up now by hitting file terminal blue you can see i have a terminal that's in bright blue now to default this it's actually fairly simple and i believe it actually defaults for you automatically let me just check no, it does not. Okay, so to default this color as your default terminal color, from now on, all you gotta really do is hit preferences, profiles, and then you just hit profile used when launching, and then just select blue, and every time you open a terminal now, you should be able to, well, customize it. And with that said, that's pretty much it for today's tutorial. Sorry if I kind of butchered things or if I couldn't talk right. This is my 16th time doing this tonight. I swear I'm not feeling too great, so I'm sorry about that. But yeah, if you wish to see more on how to, well, customize the terminal, let me know. And I may come back in a future video to show you how to customize individual lines itself. Just to have like a rainbow effect going on in your terminal. But yeah, other than that, that's basically all you need to know about customizing the terminal. And... Other than that guys, I think I'm going to leave this video off here, but just know I'm going to start a poll down below in the description hopefully or in the comments somewhere to let you guys pick what you want to see for your next uh, Kali Linux tutorial video because quite honestly, I got a lot of things planned but I just got no, I 
idea on which thing I want to do first, you know what I mean? But yeah, other than that, I'm going to leave this off here because my throat is scratching really bad right now. Anyway, I hope you all learned a thing or two. And with that said, I'm going to leave this video off here. DTBK is signing off. Peace. I've been able to break two routers with this thing in under four hours. And I got to say, it's overall a really good... There are a lot of options here. First of all, you want to change the SSID right away. You do not want to leave this...